I'd like to call to order the 1,435th meeting of the President and Board of Trustees for Majestic Park, the 16th day of October, 2017. Please rise for the invocation being given this evening by Pastor Rodney Leisendorf from Firstborn Ministry and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance by Trustee Bailey. Dear Heavenly Father, we, we thank you for bringing us together today that we can push this community forward, Lord God. We ask that you would bring a spirit of unity amongst us, O oh Lord, that you would guide this council as they make decisions regarding our community, and that we would be good stewards of the things you have blessed us with. We pray all this in your precious name. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Will the clerk please take roll call? Mayor Johnson. Here. Trustee Sipes. Here. Smith is absent. Kidd is absent. Wilson. Here. Bailey. Here. Beck. Here. Clerk is present. The attorney is present. We have a quorum. I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the 20, uh, October 2nd board meeting. So made. Second. Motion made and seconded to approve the minutes. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? <laughs> minutes have been approved. Next, we'll have Treasurer's Report from Michelle Johansson, Finance and Human Resource Manager, please. Thank you, Your Honor. The Treasurer's Report as of October 10th, 2017, reflects what the Village received in MFT funds of $45,350.78, and the total of all funds to be $11,556,967.02. In addition, the Village has pled pledged collateral of 135% of current balances, which exceeds the 110% requirement. A copy of the report is available at the back of the room. Thank you. Thank you. We'll entertain a motion to accept the treasurer's report. So made. Second. Have a motion and a second. All, are, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Treasurer's report has been approved. Next we have communications from Clerk Lori Mitchell. Thank you, Your Honor. I have no report this evening. Thank you. Next, we have the warrant from Trustee Aaron Wilson. Good evening, Your Honor. The ANF committee met this evening, and we recommend approving warrants totaling $571,714.88. I'd like to make a motion to authorize those at this time. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the bills. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, will the clerk please take roll call? Trustee Sipes. Aye. Wilson. Aye. Bailey. Aye. Beck. Aye. Four ayes, no nays, and two absent. Bills have been approved. <coughs> Next on the agenda is administrative reports. This evening I would like to start off uh, by announcing that our one and only village clerk, Lori Mitchell, has received prestigious honor of being named Ilian. Ilian Cranville, uh, Illinois Municipal Clerk of the Year. That's huge. Thank you. On behalf of the village, I would uh, like to offer our congratulations to Lori, and it's a great honor for you to do this for the village. Thank you. Thank you. And that's what it's about. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. When I ran for office, part of my campaign was my working parts plan. One part of the police and one part was the police and residents together strong. And I'm pleased to report that the sheriff's department's stop, walk, knock, and talk <coughs> program has increased 211% year to date. The 2016 numbers was 164. Our 2017 numbers are 510. I received a statewide comparison I would like to share with everyone also. Violent crime comparison per 1,000 residents, Machesi Park was 2.97, compared to the uh, state average of 3.84.
violent crime comparison for the U.S., Machesi Park was 2.18 compared to the national average of 2.38, showing that we're below the national and the state average. <coughs> By working together, we can continue to keep our village a, a strong, a safe place for our residents to live. The work on the Altamore Park located on the corner of Mims and North 2nd Service Drive is scheduled to begin uh, Saturday, October 21st. They'll feature a wiffle ball diamond in a basketball court. This park will be completely developed by private donations from the Young Professional Network of Rockford Area Realtors. The Parks Chamber Annual Dinner will be on Thursday, October 26th at Forest Hills Country, Look, Country Club. As most of you know, my wife is Executive Director of the Chamber, and when I became Village President, she took on the role of the First Lady of Machesi Park. I am very proud of her and the work that she does. I would encourage staff and elected officials to attend this event and show your support. This year's speaker will be Eddie Ocek, the legendary Chicago Blackhawk player and now announcer for the N NHL. Social times begins at 5.30, dinner at 6. Cost is $75 per person, is open up to the public. Please call. If interested, the reserve your spot at area code 815-633-3999. The Village of Machesi Park and the Parks Chamber are putting on the first annual Fall Fest on Saturday, October 28th. It begins at 11 a.m. and goes until 2 p.m. This is a free event full of fun family things to do. It'll be at the Machesi Park Town Center, formerly Machesi Park Mall, at the north end of the parking lot. We'll have a touch a truck event with over a dozen different types of trucks, including fire trucks, police cars, ambulance, dump trucks, school, school buses, garbage trucks, semis, and more. There'll be a trunk and treat se section with local businesses passing out candy, a gobbling egg hunt, and a costume contest. Vivo Pizza and Cone Ice will be on hand if you want to purchase your lunch at that time. Please call 877-5432 or 633-3999 to register for the egg hunt or the costume contest. Mark your calendars, you don't want to miss this event. Continuing on with administrative reports, next would be Attorney Tom Green. Do you have a report this evening? No report tonight, Your Honor. Thank you. Next would be a uh, village administrator, uh, no Tim report, Savage. No report, Your Honor. Next would be finance and human resource manager, Michelle Johansson. Thank you. The village has successfully completed the transition from Merchant e Solutions to GovPayNet for collection of credit card payments. <coughs> As an added feature, residents may now pay parking tickets online through the Village website with a debit or credit card by clicking on the Make a Payment button on the home screen. Thank you. Thank you. Next is Community Development uh, Director James Richter. Thank you, Your Honor. On uh, September 26th through the 28th, the staff represented the Village at the International Council of Shopping Centers uh, Chicago Deal Making <laughs> event at Navy Pier. Um, the ICSC is a global trade organization of retailers, uh, shopping center developers, and municipalities. Um, this year our booth was uh, well attended with a steady flow of traffic and a lot more people recognizing McChesney Park than last year, so that's good. Um, we had a number of appointments with retailers uh, to promote the availabilities here in town and we're going to be continuing to work on those over time. Thanks for the opportunity to, to attend. I think it's important for us to um, promote Machesney Park as an attractive retail market and uh, the show is a great opportunity to do so, so thank you. <coughs> thank you so much. Next is Superintendent of Public Works, Chad Hunter. No report. Thank you. Thank you. Village Engineer, Chris Topkins. Thank you, Your Honor. Brief report on ongoing projects throughout the village. Uh, the Illinois 251 Service Drive, I'm pleased to report that NICOR's work is complete. Um, our contractor will return to the site on the 18th, which is Wednesday. Uh, once there, they'll install the remaining inlets, which are two of those, the remaining curb gaps, shaping and paving. A little bit of storm sewer work to connect those inlets in and final grading restoration. I estimate we've got about maybe three weeks worth 
of work left at the site. Uh, the North Alpine improvements, I'm happy to report that the project is substantially complete. Uh, we'll put punch lists together, punch list items together this week for the contractor and the, let the contractor address that over the next couple of weeks. At the town center, I'm happy to, very, very happy to report that NICOR has confirmed that the new gas service for the building will not originate from beneath the new roadway. So that allows us to place the surface course this year. Uh, the contractor resumed work late last week once we confirmed the same with NICOR. Uh, the last of the pavement removals are scheduled for tomorrow and Wednesday. Uh, it looks like as of right now we're going to start paving on Wednesday. That might get pushed to Thursday of this week. We probably have two to three days worth of paving left at the site. And once that's done, the crews will be out to put in the pavement markings and that project will basically be done. Uh, the flood demos and the APP demos, uh, both of which are substantially complete, and we are putting together a final punch list for the contractor. And that's all I have this evening, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you. Next is student liaison, Tamarin Hickok. Thank you. Uh, this past homecoming week was very, very busy. And although it was rainy and gross out, all of our activities went pretty good. Uh, the DJ at the dance said it was the most organized and well-decorated dance he's ever been to. Um, so props to our student council who put in like many hours and made everything come together very nicely. Um, there's a lot of school spirit shown throughout the week by all four classes, but the seniors ended up with the most spirit points. And everyone now is just trying to catch up from a very exhausting and fun week. Thank you. Thank you. Next is Public Safety Supervisor, Lieutenant Doug Bushman. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, the bi-monthly police report covers September 29th through October 12th. In that time, there were 852 calls for service in the village, 235 reports taken, 295 arrests. Thank you. Thank you. Next is committee and trustee reports. Does any trustee have a report this evening? Trustee Wilson, please. Your Honor, the Administration Finance Committee met this evening and we talked about adopting building permit scheduling and adopting a 2015 building codes and amendments. That will go to the November 6th board meeting with a positive recommendation out of our committee. Also want to thank anyone in McChesney Park who attended Nick's Home Run or the Nicholas Ritual Foundation. That happened on Saturday. Our own attorney, Tom Green, was there running. He did a fine job. Um, also, anyone who attended the Making Strides for the Breast Cancer Walk that took place at Rock Valley College. Again, two huge fundraisers, and I think everything got in just before the rain. Uh, everybody who came out to Starbucks, too, for Coffee with a Cop. I know Lieutenant Bushman was there with a bunch of folks from the Winnebago County Sheriff's Department. It was successful for the first one. We had a lot of good dialogue, so thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Trustee Sipes. Yeah, thank you, Your Honor. I'd just like to um, thank our brothers clerk, Lori Mitchell, on your uh, award you received, and it's an honor that we have you working for our village. You do a great job. Thank you very much. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Hearing none, next is consent agenda. Would the staff present all items to be considered in the consent agenda? This evening's consent agenda consists of item A, ordinance 3417. It creates a text amendment to the zoning code in the industrial design standards applicability. First reading. Item B, ordinance 3617, authorizes a budget amendment for the fiscal year 1718 budget. Final reading. Item C, ordinance 3717, provides for the issuance of a Class C liquor license at 8289 Burden Road and amends the code to increase the number of Class C liquor licenses. First reading. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Is there any items the trustee would like to remove from the consent agenda to be considered separately? Hearing none, the consent agenda has been accepted as presented. I'll entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda. So made. Second. We have a motion and a second. Will the clerk please take roll call? Trustee Wilson. Aye. Bailey. Aye. Beck. Aye. Sipes. Aye. Schmidt is absent. Kidd is absent. Mayor Johnson. Aye. Five ayes, no nays, and two absent. Thank you. Consent agenda has been approved. Um, next we have unfinished business, which we have none. News business, we have none. Um, next will be uh, 
public comment. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to address the board for the good of the village? Hearing none, next is adjournment. I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So, so made. made. Motion made and second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries, we are adjourned.